all of the reactions that occur within a cell are called metabolism. We have two different types of metabolism, anabolic reactions and catabolic reactions. Anabolic reactions are the ones where molecules are built, so larger molecules are built from smaller ones. And this occurs in growth and repair and the building of new cells, etc. But these reactions actually require energy. And that energy actually comes from the breaking down of larger molecules in catabolic reactions. Cellular respiration is the oxidation of glucose in the presence of oxygen and it produces carbon dioxide, water and importantly energy. Now I'm just going to show the the balanced equation as well because glucose is C6H12O6 plus O2 CO2 plus H2O plus energy. Now that's of course not balanced yet so we'll go ahead and balance that so we need to have six oxygen, six carbon dioxide and six water and then that's our balanced equation. So the energy is in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate is the energy currency of every single organism. It's produced within the mitochondria of our eukaryotes uh, and in our prokaryotes it occurs in the cytoplasm. But regardless of the organism, they all use ATP as the energy currency. ATP is actually a, a nucleotide. It's made up of adenosine, which is actually a base called adenine, adenosine, and a pentose sugar. And then, as the name suggests, it's got three phosphates. Now, when that last phosphate, the terminal phosphate, when that is broken off, energy is released. And so the ATP is the molecule that gets to move around the cell, uh, transporting energy, and it's used as the energy currency throughout the cell. So I'll show you how ATP is well, briefly how it's produced and the next few videos are going to go through in detail. ATP is produced in the organelle called the mitochondria which we often call the powerhouse of the cell. It's got a, a double membrane like this so the inside or internal membrane is highly folded like this and ultimately it looks like that. Out of the mitochondria pops the ATP and it goes around to where it's required within the body. So for the ATP to release the energy, this final phosphate is broken off and the energy is released. So a free phosphate is released and we form an ADP molecule which then goes back to the mitochondria for um, replenishment and so it's, it requires C6H12O6 plus it requires oxygen and for each um, glucose molecule that gets combusted we produce 36 ATP molecules.